Okay, so we'll quickly come in here. Um, I'm going to have to be doing this really quick because I really don't have time at the minute. And I'm going to go into edge. We can have a look at a couple of the edges in here. We don't need that one or that one. So I'm just holding the control key and selecting the other edges. Let's just remove these guys as well. Just holding the alt key and deselecting these. Going into this, select all these guys anyway. Control on backspace that will remove them. Uh, if we wanted to, we can come in here pressing the one key and that will bring us into vertex there, as you know already. Go down to target weld here, or just right click and go to target weld. I'm just going to weld these guys up so uh, it's, it's more flush with it. again I'm gonna select that edge okay. hold control select that one control and backspace so I have a quad there which is fine I might do the same over on this side with the one key or will we no we'll do this side differently um, we can't come in here uh, with number two again and select these and remove them so you know if you were really finicky about it you can come in and clean that all completely up and um, like in here as well it's really up to yourself um, we don't have anything cutting across there so if we're going to vertex we just have that vertex by itself it's a bit odd but in this case it's fine it's going to cut this into two tries anyway when uh, That's basically the if you're going in to clean things up, you just go in, select the edges, control, select a few of them, control and backspace, and that will remove them. Right, so let's get straight into the uh, unwrapping. Um, right, so the first thing that we need to do is actually apply our checker, our unwrap checker map. So I'm going to go into material. See the slate editor, I've got it on the other monitor, so it's pretty massive. Um, we're going to go into standard, drag a new standard material, just left clicking and dragging out. We can double click on this to show all these parameters over here. We can call this checker map. We're going to left click on the circle beside the diffuse to drag its node out, and we can create a connection there. We're going to go to bitmap this top here and I'll need to actually go find the uh, textures wherever so it's in 13 there we go so the unwrap helper checkered map um, JPEG I'm just gonna click open on that uh, and now I can simply drag on the right hand side of it and drag it onto the control panel itself and make sure we have the map itself selected and we can say show shedding material in viewport and we can simply close out the material editor another way to get the material editor is the M key okay so you can see straight away when we put it onto it there's a lot of distortion along here this actually looks not too bad but if you look closely you can tell that it's actually it's stretched up vertically and the point of using this checker map is to have everything completely square you can see on the monitor here as well as stretched out horizontally so uh, we want to make sure that these are perfectly square so it just means that if we in Photoshop later on stick down a texture map of uh, a Windows desktop or you know some text or something like that it won't actually get distorted and obviously these guys here they're all sideways as well so a lot of distortion here so that the main aim for unwrapping it uh, again, this exercise is, is just so that you learn how to uh, unwrap different objects which are all attached to each other. So one editable poly, so one mesh base, basically. Um, so I forgot what I was saying there. Ah, work to boo. Right, so uh, we're going to start unwrapping all of these together. 
Now the aim would be to get the big chunks together and the main sections of it together. So the chair, I'll probably leave that to one side. The desk itself to another side, and then the monitors and uh, these uh, circular things uh, off on their own as well. So let's go into the modified panel. We've got the object selected. I'm just going to drop down a unwrap. So unwrap UVW, and we can open up the editor. <coughs> now the first thing you'll notice is because we created so many different objects and we did a lot of extruding and editing the faces and you know bridging or whatever else cutting and that that we did plus the fact that we have added in the cylinders as well and the boxes for the monitors this looks like a whole big bloody mess okay so the first thing we can do nice and simply is just control a that will select all of the polygons which is selected polygon down here so you can see in the viewport that all the polygons are now selected. I'm going to see if I can actually show both of these windows. I've got it very small at the moment. Uh, we're just going to go up to mapping first of all and then down to flatten mapping. And again, 45 degrees is fine. The spacing of 0.02 is OK. So we'll just click OK there. And a lot of you will probably see a big jigsaw puzzle. And there's a chair there on the way. That's the size of the desk. That's the top of the desk, I think and uh, a whole lot of other sections now we're getting all of these guys here i think most of these are for the monitors if i select these here uh, just f3 to go into wireframe can we actually see these uh, no it's actually it's uh, these tubes here at the back so they weren't attached because uh, the angle that this face here and this face here are are uh, more than 45 degrees. So I basically plan a map it in this way on this face and then plan a map it in this way on this face here. So it separated them all. But we know how to fix that. We can just go in, we can select all the object there and just go into the edge then and just start stitching them together. Okay, so I'm not going to make these videos too long here because um, it tends to crash and it does a lot of work. So I'm going to stop it right here and then we'll uh, go in to start looking at how we can actually uh, get a lot of these objects and start stitching them together.